Hi there, my name is James Booth and I am project manager for Bid Evolution, a modern retro platformer that pays homage to a multitude of 70s and 80s video games. This is reflected in the visual style of the game, which evolves over time as the player progresses. The game actually starts with an homage to Pong, and then continues with a set of Atari 2600 inspired levels. If you want to play these levels, they're already available in our demo, which can be downloaded from our website, bitevolution.co.uk, and can also be found in our Kickstarter, down there. As the story of the game progresses and evolves, so does the visual aesthetic. As a result, we have included three mock-ups of the Commodore 64, Nintendo Entertainment System, and Super Nintendo-inspired levels. If we manage to hit our minimum goal of £9,000, we'll be able to include these three visual aesthetics in the completed game. However, as you can see from the Kickstarter rewards, we also plan to include user-defined visual aesthetics as well. We also have two stretch goals dedicated to visual aesthetics. So you're probably wondering why we're asking for money if we already have the visual aesthetics mocked up and we already have a working demo. Well, video games actually take a lot of time and money to make. Most of us on the team are actually, well, students or recent graduates and either have part-time or full-time jobs. And in order for us to dedicate as much time as we'd like into the project, we need to justify that with monetary reasons. We want to make the best version of this game as possible and we can only do that with your help. We already have the framework for the rest of the game written down, which includes the story and where we want this to go, the main mechanics that we want to see in the completed game, the visual aesthetic and the setting of each style, as well as the audio and musical elements that are going to be included. One of the main things that we want to include in the completed game is a direct interaction between the realm of code and the game level. We actually have an example of this in our current demo. To kill the boss, you have to throw the golem directly on top of it in order to damage it and split them into the individual pucks. Now, to respawn the golem, you have to go into the realm of code and manually activate a segment of code, which then directly affects the game level. We want to see more elements like this in the completed game, and we actually have a few planned. For example, you may be able to pull a lever or flip a switch that directly affects the way that the game level is laid out, be that where enemies are spawned from or where platforms appear or disappear. Another element that we're planning to add to the completed game is a multitude of different visual aesthetics. Bit, our main character, has the ability to enter multiple video games via the realm of code, which means that the mechanics and gameplay involved with his movement and playability changes with time, but so does the art style of each different game. As you can see here in the Atari levels on the demo, we already have mechanics that are already known and loved. However, as the visual aesthetic will evolve, so will the gameplay, which tests the player's abilities and wits. Our resident pixel pusher Matt Frith is doing 100% of the tile work and sprite animations in this project. If you want to see more of his work, head over to mattfrith.com or look down there in the Kickstarter. The project has also been coded by Connor Van Dyke, who's worked on a multitude of different projects, which includes Flash Frozen, an E3 award-winning game. The majority of the music has been composed by Joe Jeremiah. He's a very talented individual, and examples of his work can be found down there in the Kickstarter. The rest of the music and the sound design has been completed by Miles Kerwin, you can find more examples of his work on our website. Last but not least, the level design is being split between Connor, myself and Jeremy Beer. We imagine that the completed game will have a minimum of four visual aesthetics, however this number may increase if individuals pledge and if we hit our stretch goals. We've set up some fun and interesting perks for individuals who pledge, so feel free to have a look and see which one takes your fancy. These perks include keychains, posters and promotional floppy disks, with the higher perks allowing you to have a say in how the game plays and looks. As a result, we plan to have the completed game done by September 2014. I hope you're looking forward to Bit Evolution as much as we are, and thank you very much for your support. You start to forget the things you should remember. It's been 10 years.